Right, so if you're having trouble getting your iron levels up and have symptoms of iron deficiency, something to consider is consuming vitamin C. I'm sure you've heard of that before. It's quite common. And uh, that can be both in supplemental form or in iron-rich foods. But the reason being is that, uh, yes, vitamin C can increase uh, iron uptake, but it can also lower hepcidin and it can lower systemic inflammatory markers, uh, specifically high sensitivity, high sensitivity C-reactive protein. It's been shown to lower that and interleukin-6 or IL-6, as well as fasting blood sugars. So when you take in vitamin C, uh, 500 milligrams twice a day, you get that AL, um, IL-6 drop and you get blood sugar drops fasting. That's in obese individuals, so in healthy people, hard to say, but um, if you're obese, inflamed, um, lowering IL-6, lowering HSCRP, lowering blood sugar levels is going to make it so the body would rather take up iron because when inflammation is high, the body says, no, no more iron, keep it out of here because iron is an oxidating substance. So it doesn't want that. So we want to bring down inflammation because inflammation shuts down iron uptake. And one way to do that is to increase vitamin C levels throughout the day. And so if you're going to utilize vitamin C in this way, I would suggest taking vitamin C like morning, afternoon, evening, at least potentially even four times a day, you know, just little, little doses throughout the day versus um, just, you know, 2000 milligrams, 3000 milligrams at a, at a time, because the half-life of vitamin C isn't very long in the serum. So I hope this helps. Let me know if you've been trying vitamin C, utilizing vitamin C, how you've been utilizing it and what it did for your iron levels.